Whoa. What are you looking at? I can hear his mate above. May as well push him. No, no, no. I got stuck in the door. There's another one. <laughs> wow. Nice. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. So last night I ended up breaking my kill record once again. And I won't tell you what it is, but you may have seen in the thumbnail already. But we managed to get a nice high kill win on Rebirth Island there using the AK and the OTS. And I thought instead of just making it into the live commentary, I thought I'd commentate over it and just sort of talk you through how I get my high kill games. Obviously you have to get lucky to the lobby sometimes, sometimes they'll die out fast, but this one didn't. But I thought it'd be fun to break down some of the techniques I use and just sort of each gunfight, talking through why I do what I do and just breaking down some of the movements that I like to use as well. So, straight away we like to land at prison in this middle room here, because as you'll see here we get two really nice guns straight off the start, and then you want to play nice and aggressive. As soon as you've got a decent gun, you want to try and get some kills straight away, and also just as soon as you get 7,500, you want to just straight away go for the loadout. So I have actually skipped forward on some of the gameplay, but it's none of it's cut out, so you can see the full thing. Some of it is just on two times speed or four times speed, just to make it a little bit more entertaining. But basically, right here, I come onto my first kill, so I can hear somebody running around outside, and this is where your headphones come into play, especially in an area like prison. Hop through the window, catch him while he's playing up and looting, and that's the first easy kill of the game. Now I noticed on the mini map, which is always key for rebirth, you want to be when you kill somebody you want to be checking where the pings come up of their enemies I'm sure everybody knows by now but just always keep an eye on your minimap as to where the red dots will be flashing now we heard a guy in this right room so we swing round he gets a shot off on us we managed to get the kill and once again we're looking at the minimap so we can see there's people above us and also maybe below so he's checking around now this is actually a really good thermite shot. I do actually get a hit marker with it. That would have been a nice stick if I could have hit that. But we didn't manage to get a kill with it. So we're going to jump down now. And as I said before, you want to get your load out nice and fast. And today we're using the AK. There's some guy shooting us with like a pistol or a DMR or something. But he couldn't hit his shots. Managed to take him out of the fire there. And then that's a nice free kill straight away. So we're going to grab our load out. And then I always, because I'm always around prison, I like to head to the roof just in case anybody up there. But in this case, there was actually a guy hiding down here, whatever he was doing. He might have been AFK. But basically, as you can see on the mini-map, there is still enemies on the roof. So we're going to jump up. And that's usually where a lot of the action happens, especially early game. And depends on where the circle goes late game as well. But it's always fun to fight a prison. Now we slide down the stairs here because I knew there was somebody coming up. So it's a good idea to slide down them because it gives you that extra speed of sliding down a slanted surface and just sort of catches them off guard because if you're coming around that corner slow then you're going to get taken out. And with this AK I'm pretty confident at long range so I will take shots at any sort of players that I see like that guy that was just minding his own business but it's a free kill for us and that leaves us on 6 kills. So we're going to skip it forward to when I decide to push over towards control centre and this is where a lot of the kills come in this game as you'll see just here in a second but we pop daddy because we could hear a guy below us but he starts making his way over to his team over at control so we take him out was going to go for the throwing knife there but I didn't want to miss and lose it so we take him out we notice he's got a, an enemy well his teammate on the roof of control centre now I do like fighting in control, there's lots of different parkour routes as you can just see there, but you can just go around. And then, so he's got two teammates that are down low, one that's actually in the building, so I can hear him below. We've still got Deddy, nice easy kill on the stairs. Now the last guy I could see is above us to the left, I wasn't sure if he was parachuting, but as you'll see he's there through the door. So I shut the door and burst through it, make my way upstairs, he actually put a mine down. Now this guy I could see on the heartbeat across the bridge there, he starts coming over, here is armour, so I decide to push up the stairs after him, miss the throw knife, I could hear somebody landing in, now we're going to swing round, there we go, you'll always notice when I do my jump shots or slide cancels, you always want to be centering, so right there I jump around the corner with my aim, well the middle crosshair and screen, just sort of centred to where the guy's head's going to be already, 
Now, this little bit here is a tip I don't see a lot of people using. There's not a lot of scenarios where you would use it. But basically, I didn't really want to push down the stairs. Not that I'm not confident in my gun skill, but I didn't want to die to a guy that's just sat in a corner and pre-aiming. So I decide, why not shoot a bit upstairs to make it look like I'm shooting or fighting. And what do you know, he does come running up. Now, that is just a little tip there, just to sort of outsmart your enemies. Obviously, you know, some of the higher level players it's not going to work against. But it's something to just bear in mind. And you want to always shoot with two different guns as well, so it does sound like an actual gunfight. But it's just some high IQ plays there. <laughs> Now you can see this guy in the heartbeat, once again, slide cancel around the corner, center my crosshair in the middle of the screen, straight onto the guy's head, there we have it. Now I do make a little mistake here and there in this game, which you'll see in a second. Sometimes when you're on a sort of high kill game, you will start making mistakes as you get over aggressive and kill hungry, but you see this team that's sort of pushing over here. So I can see there's one already upstairs. So he's actually above us now. And I thought I might be able to play for these guys here. But I wanted to mount on this wall, but it sort of wouldn't let me. It was kind of weird. And then the UAV didn't really update, and this guy was closer than I thought. So I decided to swing out on him. Really what I should have done, you know, is gone onto the roof maybe, took out that guy, and it would give us some sort of leverage to play with. Get shot from the left, get pushed from the right. So I decided, screw it, let's just thirst the kill, like the dick that we are. But we're going for a high kill game here, and I thought I might have been able to break my record. That's why I was sort of thirsting that kill there. I wouldn't normally be that keen. I'd try and fight the other team. But we're going to land straight back onto our loadout here. And there is, there is also a heli down at the dock here on the right. So I'm thinking, screw it, let's just fly this team. That could be a nice four kills there if we can take them all out. My team at this point, I'm pretty sure we're all fighting at prison. But sometimes you do have to go on your own if you're confident enough to do it, um, to get those high kill games, simply so you can get more kills for yourself. So it is kind of selfish, but there we go. Now this guy starts shooting at us, but we're using the heli as cover. So I'm going to sort of shoulder in and out. See, so I got some information. Once again, centering. Before we even aim in, we're getting the crosshairs ready to shoot. I know I say it a lot, but that is one of the key tips. So this guy starts pushing us up the stairs. Kind of a weird situation. I will slow it down and break down what we did there. So, basically I shut the door. As you know, I like to use my doors. I see his body glitch through it. So I try and pre-fire. Now, I didn't expect him to burst through, to be fair. So I noticed him there. Now, instead of going for the melee, I bail on it. I had noticed we got one hit off. re -chow. As you can see, he tried for a stun. So, he obviously wasn't expecting us to re it. But sometimes it's a very good idea to re an enemy like that. Once they've hit you once... Obviously, if you're one shot, maybe not the best idea. Sometimes it works. Depends on the skill level of your enemy as well. So now, we've killed two of this team. Now we've got two more downstairs. Obviously, they will be respawning in very soon. But you'll see, I like to use a change of elevation in all of my fights. Now, I'm sort of checking where they are. Now, I notice them running here. Hit him a couple times. Start up the stairs. Now, the reason I shut that door is to make it look like I'm camping the top. But, check my heartbeat. Notice one upstairs. See this guy here. Duck away out of cover. Always shutting the doors behind me. And now this is where the intro clip come in. So this guy comes in, obviously thinks that I've ran down the stairs. I'm going to run down, reload. Not going to worry about Thurston. Pre-aim the door for this guy, crack his armour and knock him. He blocks me to get through the door, and we're going to jump shot and swing back around on the final guy. And we're going to get some nice throw knife finishes there. They're always so smooth and satisfying to use. Now this final guy, you can see on the mini-map. I thought he might have been down here, but he's obviously going up the stairs. So he's going to get on his tail and try to get the nice team wipe here. Probably could have just farmed these guys a little bit to keep them coming back in. Because that is kind of a key thing to do. But I noticed him over there. Didn't want to shoot my OTS because I didn't want to let him know I'm here just yet. As soon as he comes out, bang, there we go. And that's our 20th kill there. Now, we've still got 16 in the lobby at this point. So, I think my record before this game was, I believe, 23. As you can see, I'm just taking shots at anybody. But yeah, I believe it was 23 or 24. I did actually do a video on it about a month ago. Um, so, I, as you can imagine, I was getting a little bit nervous this time, and heart was going real fast, as it always does when you're in these sort of final moments, if you're on a high kill game. So, this guy's up on the roof here, and if you see my gas mask play video, you'll know that I love to run into the gas to get to a position, 
you know, put myself in a little bit of a bad situation just to get into a better position. But as you can see, there's three of them up on the roof here. Well, there might have been one parachuting in. So they're not expecting us to come up this way because they think the gas is actually inside of the... Is this lad is inside the gas, sorry. Let's get a knock on this guy. Down two of them. Someone comes from behind. I'll slow this one down just a little bit. I know he only had a uh, spawning gun. But what I did there was strafe back and forth behind that cover. Making me hard to hit. And obviously because I'm behind cover it's a head glitch. So as I always say, you know, just keep strafing away from your enemies. And then I noticed one guy below. We just, at this point, we don't really care. We're just sort of going for it. Now we're on 26 at this point. So I'm just sort of very kill hungry. I was thinking I might be able to get a 30 bomb here. But it's very hard when the lobby starts to die out. Especially when the circle gets smaller. But you do have to get blessed with the lobby as well to drop those high kill games. Start pre-firing as I come through the door. Slide cancelling around every doorway. Check the heartbeat. Hop out on this guy. Get the full scene wipe. And now it's a 3v2. I'm not really sure where the enemies are at this point. But I can see that my enemies, my teammate, sorry, is shooting up at this way. But he's a good player anyway, and he manages to get the kills. And we finish off with a nice 27 kill win on Rebirth Island. I think we only died once as well, so that was a really good one. So that's my new kill record. I thought it'd be fun to do one last sort of high kill game as we got a little bit sweaty last night after I got home from work. Wasn't expecting to beat this, but there we go. Sometimes it just comes along when you get the right lobby and you're feeling good on the game. So obviously I'm uploading this on, I believe, it, what is it, today the 4th. So Vanguard is out tomorrow or early hours of tomorrow. So you can expect some good Vanguard content coming from me. Um, obviously we'll still be bringing out some Warzone maybe in about a few weeks or a month's time. But in the meantime we're probably going to be grinding out Vanguard just in time for the new Warzone Pacific map. So I can get to the grips of all of the World War II guns. Now, please do let me know what sort of content you'd like to see from me on Vanguard. I'm happy to do tips and tricks videos, pub stomping, anything really, breakdowns. This is a lot of fun to do. I'll see how I feel about the game. I might do uh, my sort of first impressions or review video, but we'll see. But do let me know down below. Obviously, it's a little bit of Warzone and Rebirth chucked in the mix as well. But there we go. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content coming soon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.